friends, welcome back to She's in Her Apron. Today I'm gonna to be sharing with you two grocery hauls, one from Sam's Club and one from Walmart. Then I'll share with you some of the meals that we're planning on making for the next little while, some freezer meals, meals that I'm making for you, and a couple of items for my food storage. And I'm gonna share the pricing on here for you as well. I know you guys like when I put up how much the items are. Let's start with Sam's Club. I went to Sam's Club with my friend Becky the other night and I used that app, the shop app on your phone that you could scan your items. I shared this with you before. It is awesome. This video is not sponsored by Walmart by any means. All right, let's check out the Sam's Club haul. Let's jump into it. So I grabbed this pork and beef original smoked sausage. I'm gonna give this a try. I have a couple of recipes that I'm gonna be doing um, this with the, so it comes in a package of two that have two in it. So sausage and peppers and then the shrimp boiled dinner, um, sheet pan dinner, we're gonna do that again because we just love it so much. So we have that. I love that they have a very small kit 9.5 ounces of the sweet kale chopped salad instead of the big bag. Thank you, Sam's Club. Oh my goodness, I'm in love with their mini cucumbers, you guys. I like them better than Costco's. So, so good. Baby seedless. They're crispier. Yum. And I love having them with the homestyle ranch. And some beautiful asparagus. This is 32 ounces of asparagus. And then their pesto. The pesto is good, very good. Would I say that I like it better than the Costco one? No, but it's right there. So I'm gonna be making some freezer meals with this. And then I grabbed some chicken. I grab chicken every time I go or order it. So I grabbed a package of the drumsticks. This is, this was $1.08 per pound. So I grabbed the um, chicken drumsticks and then the chicken thighs, I think, it doesn't say bone in, but I re really think this has bone in, but it has the skin on. So we grab that to do some meals with. Um, salted cashews, I like having these little packet of cashews in the car when I'm hungry and I'm out and about. So I grab that. Grab some all-purpose flour, if you guys remember I was, I'm out, so I just grabbed uh, a small bag. Look at their milk. I have not seen the carton like this. So grab some milk, um, some romaine lettuce, some bacon that's already cooked, super easy. I have um, the normal fresh bacon in my freezer out in the garage. Some baby Bella mushrooms. This is so good, sauteed up, oh yum. Mustard, we are completely out of mustard, even down in our food room, so grabbed a twin pack of that. The Angus beef fajita, fully cooked um, meat. It is delicious. I have two recipes, so I grabbed two bags that I'm gonna do that with. Um, I just thought it'd be much easier this way. The Cheez-Its Snap-It. I'm gonna, I grabbed some snacks for the kids and I wanted something different than what they normally get. So one is uh, cheddar and sour cream and onion and the nor other one is more like the double cheese. So we're gonna give those a try. Um, and then this one is the rice crisps. These are gluten free, which I thought was great. Uh, caramel, cheddar, buttermilk ranch, and apple cinnamon. A big bag of coleslaw. Jumbo colossal shrimp. And we're gonna do that with our sheep pan dinner. Claussen pickles, if you guys are new, I am addicted to pickles. And I love Claussen, so I grabbed that. Big bag of russet potatoes. And then we're gonna give a try the sack o corn, uh, 24 cobets, they call it. Um, they're all frozen. They say it's microwavable. So I gotta hurry up and get this in the freezer. Um, we could do that with our sheet pan dinner. Funny story about the haul. During, like right toward the end, I probably scanned maybe the last four, five items. All of a sudden, I got a glitch. I think it was because I popped out of the app to check my shopping list and I popped back in. There was a glitch and I it didn't scan like some of my last or, last items like before the glitch. So we go to pay and we leave and we're loading into the cart. And I was like, did I scan that item? 
did I scan that? Did I forget any? And I looked and I'm like, I did forget the bacon. But I noticed that when the app glitched, some items were no longer scanned. Ah, oh, so I opened that app back up in the parking lot, scanned those items, and then I brought in my mustard because they need to scan an item when they scan your receipt. So I did the whole checkout thing again. I went in the exit, told her what happened, had her scan the barcode at the end when you pay on my phone, and then she scanned the mustard, and that was that. I said, ah, there was a glitch and some things I didn't pay for. So yeah, so maybe try to have a list, <laughs> like a paper list and not go back and forth on your phone because it glitched. Anyway, that's never happened to me before, but it happened that day. Okay, next went to Walmart. So lots of veggies in this haul and lots of um, items for freezer meals in this haul as well. So let's check it out. So I grabbed another gallon of milk. <laughs> Um, that weird shape one from Sam's Club, yeah, the family didn't really like that container. It kind of drips weird out, but, you know, you got to do what you got to do. But I did pick up another one. Some brats. We're going to have um, sausage and peppers. I wanted ham, but I did not want a big ham. I love buying big hams because you can get many meals out of it. Today, I was just like, no, I want a small one, so this will feed us fine I like having the leftovers but I didn't feel like doing that today so this is a brown sugar double glazed ham okay some garlic and have you guys noticed that the price of garlic has gone up oh my gosh oh my gosh this was still cheaper to buy it this way than individual bulbs some flake steak for a recipe for you um, this is thin but I think it's perfect um, so this is coming up in a recipe for you limes Turn up. I'm going to make beef stew, but instead of potatoes, turn up. Um, whole carrots. We were completely out of carrots. I thought I had half a bag left, but I used them. Shocking. I thought I did, but so we have carrots. Bananas. We've been out of bananas for a long time. And then two bag of the family size home style meatballs. These are going to be in freezer meals. They're seriously so good in a quick, quick meal. I do have some recipes um, that you could use with meatballs. I'll leave those down below. A red onion, a couple of grapefruit, applesauce, this is for a recipe, but the recipe called for chunky applesauce, but I was like, oh, forget it. All right, two packages of bell peppers, sweet bell peppers. We're gonna be doing fajitas, um, yeah, and one recipe calls for red. So we'll be doing two recipes with these. Some green onions. I love just throwing green onions in chicken dishes and salads. Oh, I'm in love with green onions. All right, avocados. I grabbed four of them. So I'm excited about that. Some baby spinach, a smaller package of baby spinach. Some veggie medley. This is block, <laughs> block blade. <laughs> this is broccoli florets carrots and cauliflower. I love sauteing this up with seasoning. Oh, yum, yum, yum. Sugar snap peas. I love eating these, especially with that um, Lighthouse Ranch dressing. Yum. And of course, with that is some radishes. These are always yummy to snack on and put in salads, but I do like snacking on these. Some cheese head string cheese. Um, kids love this. Shaylee loves it, but I went with a smaller bag. Half and half, I grabbed a small one for a recipe. Bread, I did not make bread on Sunday. Uh, I did not have it in me this Sunday, so I grabbed two loaves and we'll bake this coming Sunday. And some Tillamook sharp white cheddar cheese, little bricks, I guess, um, snack portions. Love sharp white cheddar cheese, so I already snacked on one once I got in the car, I was shaky. So that's my snackage. Some mild cheddar cheese, two pounds, 32 ounces. We'll be cutting one, shredding it, keeping it in the fridge, the other one in the freezer, take the other one out when we need it. Some white American cheese, kids love this with grilled cheese. Ricotta cheese for um, lasagnas. I'm gonna be doing those in a freezer meal, so of course I needed lasagna noodles. And these are just the normal lasagna noodles, and I do have a video um, if you guys haven't seen it, on how you can make freezer meals, lasagna freezer meals, without boiling your noodles and doing it in the slow cooker. So go check out that video. Um, two cans of 
Oh, they're crushed. Dang it, this one's crushed, this one's ready cut. Dang it, I wanted both ready cut, but I think the recipe that I got um, is two cans and this will work. Dang it, I didn't even notice that that one was crushed. Oh well, it will get used, it'll be fantastic. Some Cool Whip, I always like to have that in the fridge. I do some um, summer salads with that. And um, so and I wanted to have one in the freezer. Some Special K cereal, this is for mommy. <laughs> I haven't had this in a while. Sounded good. And then elbow macaroni. Um, we love making macaroni salad. Um, so I grabbed a bag of that. Some pinto beans. This is for my food storage room. Um, I like to grab things in shopping halls. Like at least once a month I grab a few essentials to have in our food storage room. I'm going to be sharing a video, video on how I prep these once I buy them. And then I'm going to be sharing a slow cooker pinto bean recipe um that you can make like like a refried bean that is so delicious it's a hit with our family so i'll be sharing that with you two cans of the bushes original baked beans this is for my boston baked bean recipe we used our last two so i just grabbed two more um and then peanuts this is for a couple of recipes and then this sounded so good chipotle aioli made with real chipotle peppers so this we're going to give that a whirl. Um, I am not a fan of sauces like this, but I have a recipe that calls for this. And I thought of making my own, um, which I use in my sweet and sour chicken recipe. So, so I don't know. We're going to give this a whirl. I might regret it, but we will see. I grabbed for a quick freezer meal some honey teriyaki marinade sauce. I'll be sharing that with you. Some A1 sauce for, I think it's for that flank steak recipe uh dill relish needed we were out of that i just needed i had one can of rotel downstairs i needed one more for another recipe and some vegetable broth they did not have just a normal can of it so i'll be using what i need for the recipe and freezing the rest and i don't think i missed anything so this is my walmart haul so when I'm researching what I want to do for dinners and meals and freezer meals, I keep a list in my phone that I have here. So now I'm just going to transfer that onto paper and then I have it out to see as a visual reminder because I do much better with visual cues. For a dinner we have the shrimp boil after we had it um, last week. Everyone wanted it again. And then we have the sausage and peppers. This is a slow cooker meal that I'm gonna be sharing with you. And then gumbo. Derek is super excited about that Colosso shrimp and he bought some Zatarans. He loves that so he's gonna be making that for us for lunch this week. Tonight we're having steak salad. We're gonna use some of that already done, um, that bag of the Angus beef. And then with that, we are having beef fajitas. And if it doesn't get used, it can be put in the freezer, but I, I like having ham uh, on hand. And then beef stew. Um, and then for my freezer meals, I will be doing the um, lasagnas. And that's two of those. The teriyaki chicken. And then, and then I'm gonna be doing pesto ranch chicken with that pesto that I bought and I'm hoping to maybe get two out of that, we shall see. And then for a slow cooker freezer meal, I'm going to be doing the shredded chicken tacos. Sweet and sour chicken. Oh, I am writing so messy. No, not chicken, meatballs. <laughs> I'm just so used to saying chicken. I'm gonna be sharing with you slow cooker to film also for you for dinners. <laughs> um, I'm gonna be sharing with you Thai peanut chicken, and that also can be a freezer meal, but I think I'm just gonna be, well, we'll see what I decide, but that is there. And then also the slow cooker pepper steak. So some of these, we're, of course, we're not eating in the next week. They'll be freezer meals and yeah, but there's a lot here. And then, of course, for sides, oh my gosh, we have a ton of sides. We have the asparagus. I'm writing so messy. Salads, the veggie medley. 
coleslaw. I mean, and it just continues. There's just, I have endless of that. So this is what I am doing for the next little bit. And hopefully, maybe sparked some recipe ideas for you to try. Maybe in the next, you know, coming week or so. Okay, friends, thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this. It's always great having you around. I really appreciate you guys. I hope this maybe gave you some ideas for meals, freezer meals for yourself. Hey, all right, leave any comments down below, things you want me to try next time I'm at Walmart or Sam's Club, um, leave them down below. Thank you so much for joining me and we'll see you soon, bye.